opportunity. What is it? What does it mean? My whole life's work is centered around improving the equality of opportunity for people. If we can't define what an opportunity is, then you know how are we ever going to go about that? Opportunity for me is something that we have to measure from the starting line. A lot of the time in discussions, people talk about opportunity from the finishing line. They talk about equality of outcomes, equality of the end of the road. We're never going to have equality of outcomes. Everybody is not going to be the same. Everyone is not going to have the same amount of aptitude in one thing as another. It's just not the way that it works. Equality of opportunity has to be measured from the starting line. And to look at the starting line, we have to look at what might be an opportunity. When I ask people, what do you think opportunity is? Often we get answers like school or a job, um, things that sort of sound like opportunities. But the truth is that opportunity is much more complicated. Shoes are an opportunity, clothes are an opportunity, books are an opportunity, having your parents talk about their work at the dinner table is an opportunity, hugs are an opportunity, being able to go to the shop and just buy things as you need them is an opportunity. It's very difficult to recognize the opportunities in your life that you've had all the time. If you've always had shoes, you don't tend to recognize that as being an opportunity. It's only once you haven't had shoes for a while you realize, hang on a minute, life gets a lot more hard when I don't have anything on my feet. We have to take into account opportunities that we take for granted when we're measuring opportunity from the starting line. Looking at how difficult it is for someone to get from where they are to where they want to be. Typically, as a middle class white male, it's reasonably accessible for me to get from where I am to probably where I would like to be. Talent and skill put aside, things like whether or not you're actually good enough to be a professional athlete. Generally speaking, I have access to the things that I need to get from A to B. And great examples of how to get from where I am to where I want to be. If you want to get to middle management, there's a lot of examples of that. There's a lot of examples of how to do it. There's a lot of people there able to offer you advice people with similar life experiences, people who understand where you're coming from and people who can offer you valid, reasonable and, and very relevant advice as you make your way to the point B that you're after. If you're a woman, it starts to get a bit harder. If you're a low socioeconomic male or female, it gets harder again. If you're a low socioeconomic male or female of color from another country, all of a sudden it gets harder and harder to find examples of how to get from where you are to where you want to be. And that's what we're trying to change. Making it so that it doesn't matter what you look like, where you're from, how much money you started with, how much money your parents had, what your parents did, what your family did, what the area that you grew up in looks like. You should have the same opportunity to get from where you are, to where you want to be, as everybody else. The way that we treat people from the day that they're born until the day that they enter the workforce, until the day that they die, all affects the amount of opportunity that people have. To improve the equality of opportunity, these are all issues that we have to address. And we have to address them from the starting line. We have to look at what's affecting people's ability to get from where they are to the person that they want to be. And how can we best help people move from here to here? That's my obsession. And I hope that understanding opportunity can begin to be a part of your journey to providing it. Keep your eyes open, pay attention, be grateful, and as always, just be nice.